Prosecutors say an Albuquerque man accused of using a bat to attack people and cars should be held behind bars through trial. But newly released video in the case left a lot of questions about the nature of that case in front of a judge this morning. News 13's Marilyn Upchurch explains. Marilyn. Well, Jason Wiggins is facing aggravated battery and other charges in the case, but he won't be held behind bars after his lawyers pointed to the fact that he too was attacked that night. It's our position that the state has not proven by clear and convincing evidence that Mr. Wiggins is dangerous. In fact, it's our contention that the state hasn't even proven by clear and convincing evidence that Mr. Wiggins was not the victim in this case. According to the criminal complaint, Wiggins showed up to his ex-wife's family holiday party in southeast Albuquerque and while trying to leave was pulled out of his car by two unidentified men who beat him up. After all three men left, witnesses at that party told police that Wiggins came back and attacked two women and hit four cars. Then police say two men returned and shot Wiggins. Cell phone video from Wiggins' attorney shows two women attacking him after he was shot. Prosecutors wanted Wiggins to remain in jail, in part pointing to a 2006 second degree murder conviction. Wiggins lawyers in part claim that prosecutors have ignored that Wiggins was also assaulted after he was shot. They also claim police only documented one injury to one of the alleged victims and that the bat Wiggins is accused of using is plastic and was never found. Not having that information uh, makes uh, making this decision a bit more difficult without um, the type of evidence that can fill in uh, the gaps and the holes in what is just presented in the form of the criminal complaint. So I'm finding that the weight of the evidence against Mr. Wiggins uh, isn't as strong with not having that information. Judge Montano opted to release Wiggins to pretrial services. Back to you. All right, thank you, Marilyn. Right now, Wiggins is the only person facing charges. We reached out to APD to see if they are looking into the two unidentified men or the two women who assaulted Wiggins after he was shot. As of airtime, we had not heard back.